Anyway, today is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. So last week didn't go so well. We got home. What was it? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. Um, we got a call from Jenna Wednesday morning. She started having some really bad issues. Um, so that, that's why there wasn't a video. I'll just cut that short. Um, we had a lot of issues Wednesday with Jen. We had to hurry up and get loaded and try to get home. We ended up setting, so we was getting pissed about that because we just wanted to get home to Jenna so we could get her to the doctor. So, yeah, so we just don't have any video. That's what it is. Um, so anyway, uh, we got home, got her to the doctor, and we had to get new meds for her because she was having some bleeding issues and stuff. Um, couldn't get it to stop, so we had to get her on some new medicine. Friday, she thought she had strep throat, so we had to yeah. take her into the doctor. She started a new job. She wanted to work, wanted to work, so we said, fine, get a job. So she got a new job. She worked at the new job one day and ended up getting somebody there had a cold, and she ended up getting it. Um, they thought she had strep, so we ended up having to take her back into the doctor. She had to get some tests ran on that. Yeah, and they said, that they said if she, she had strep, they were going to hospitalize her because of her immune system. And, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, that's last week. It's a new week. Yeah, it's <laughs> Hopefully it's less stressful this week. Yeah, so this week, um, so we're going to be out for 10 days, and we know we told you guys we're going to be out for 10 days, and then we're going to do fives all next month. But we changed it. Um, we're going to stay out for 10 days, and then we'll be, our 10 wow. days will end on the 1st of May, and then taking a week. we're taking a that those five we usually get those five days off till the following Monday and then we're taking that following week off. We've got to we've got to freaking de stress here and get things back on track with her. So um, we'll be off the first come the first through the thirteenth. We'll come back on the thirteenth, right? Yeah. So that's just that. Uh, we talked to Patty today, asked her if she had a problem. She said I have no problem with you guys doing whatever you need to do. So that's what we're gonna do. Our stress levels have been through the roof lately, so every little thing is just, I mean, to be blunt, every little thing is just pissing us off anymore. So we, we've got to just take some time and Wind regroup. Down. Yeah. Um, so that's the plan. Where are we at? We're in, um, we just come out of Wichita. We're in Kingman, I think. Kingman, Kansas. It's like 5.30 at night. Got a Han load on. Um, it's actually going to Inglewood, California, which is just a suburb of, of uh, L.A. And as soon as we saw it this morning and saw that it don't deliver till Wednesday, Donna emailed Patty and said, we need to relay this. And she already, apparently already and had a plan. So. I'm going to say that. I was going to say that. I think she had already anticipated Our email. us bitching and crying <laughs> about <laughs> sitting for, you know, 20 hours because... Donna sent her that, and she immediately sent us a unassigned um, dispatch from the load she had already had set up for us after that. And it went five minutes later. She said, "All right, we've got a relay set up for you." So that was awful quick for them not to be anticipating it. Yeah. I think they were anticipating it already. So. So we're gonna relay in Arizona and then head back to Iowa with the his load. So. Yeah, we're the guy we're relaying with trying to get out of California and he only had like six hours so he's going to try to make it to Flagstaff but we don't know we told him wherever you make it to we'll meet you there because it doesn't really matter to us no. um, as long as we can just grab and go I don't I don't really care so um, yeah he's going to call us when he stops I would assume he stopped already yeah we'll have to call him we're, we're probably going to have to call him because yeah he should have his clock should have been done Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. He might be just finishing up his block, actually. But either way, wherever he gets to is where we're going to. Yeah. That's where we're going to meet him. What else? Not a whole lot. Our That's about it. Well, yeah. no. Our older son that came back from Missouri got a job. He's working at Curry's. Yep. He's where training we used to, to work. be a driver, so... He got on there last week. His first day was today. Yeah. Um, they're going to help him. They've got a program there where they'll help you get your CDL. Yeah. So we're going to take him out with the trainer, have him run around with the trainer with his um, permit and 
class A permit, and then uh, get him his license, get him out on his own. He's pretty happy. Yeah, he's pretty excited because that's what he's been wanting to do. Um, yeah, that's one good thing about Curry's. They have they have it the way they have that set up to help people get their uh, CDLs. Yeah. I think that's a great thing to be able to do that because when I was trying to get mine, I know. Nobody will hire you unless you have it, but nobody will give you the opportunity to get it. Unless you go to a school. Unless you go to a school. Well, not everybody's got seven grand that don't go to school and learn nothing. At which 90% of the schools you don't. 90% of it is class time. Well, they teach you nothing. They teach you how to pass a test. That's all they do. Um, so yeah, to be able to be actually put in a truck, there's no better way to learn than hands-on. So yeah, I, I gotta give Curry's kudos for that because I think it's a good deal that they do that. Um, so yeah, so he's doing that now. So he, he's pretty excited about that. Yeah. But for us, that's about it, really, right? Yeah. And really, fun. much else. I mean, the weekend was kind of uneventful. Easter, um, happy Easter, guys. Hope you had a good Easter. Yeah. Just kind of hung out with Jenna. So she worked one day at her new job, and then she had to call in. But, I mean, honestly, her boss has been amazing, her new boss. I mean, she's completely understanding about it, yeah. so. Yeah, they knew the situation with Jen before they hired yeah, her. Yeah, she so. told them about it when they hired her. Yeah, and it was between her and, like, three other candidates. And they chose Jenna, even knowing her issues. So, um, so yeah, they were cool with it from the start. Yeah, so I mean, even even though we haven't recorded in a week, I mean, there's not really much else to tell you guys. That's that's been about it. Yeah. We've just really been on the edge lately. I mean, both of us just really been on the edge lately, and it's just I don't know. You, you try to be upbeat all the time, but sometimes you just can't. Yeah. Sometimes you just burst. Yeah. But, Life in the truck is not all, and we've told you guys a hundred times, life in the truck is not all, oh look at us, oh look at me going to this truck stop, look how happy I am all the time. That's what you guys see on all the other trucking videos. And that is not, that is far from the truth. No, um, because you have to deal with the stresses out here on the road, and then you also have to deal with the stresses at home, and it's like combined. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to do the, you know, downer videos, but... You know, it is what it is. Yeah, we it, try. We try to be happy in most of Yeah, if you get into trucking because you think it's going to be all sunshine and rainbows, well, sadly mistaken. It's not. By any means. Um, so, yeah, anyway, we're going to take that time off because we just, I don't know, we really need it. I know everybody thinks that we don't do a whole lot, but we've been really stressed lately and it's been getting to us and then you know, every little thing at work, just, you know, they gave us a load last week and we had to set overnight and wait for that before we could even load that. And, and that just, you guys know how we feel about setting, so that just, yeah, so we need to de-stress for a while. Yeah. Just take a break, step back, reevaluate, start back fresh. more tired than we were when we left because <laughs> we had so much time on. But no, we've got so much stuff we got. I mean stupid stuff. We got like this this stupid tree that keeps growing up between our shed and our it's a and weed. our fence. It started out a weed. Yeah. Now it's, it's growing a tree. up between our shed and our fence. And you never have enough time to do the stuff you need to do because both of us are in the truck so there's nobody home taking care of things. So that thing is like growing up between the privacy fence and the shed and it's collapsing our fence and we got to get the tree cut down and we don't have time to cut the tree down and um, it's just so many things at the house that have to get done no, that we can't do when both of us are in the truck. No and even though we're off for five days I mean we're usually busy those five days. Yeah. I mean whether it's getting the truck ready to go or doctor's appointments with Jenna or doing this with it's just like go 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 that board up the camera uh, apparently picked up one of us up as telling it to not do what it's supposed to do. <laughs> it's all a shut up. Speed limit yeah. reduced ahead. Um anyway, yeah. But that's it. That's all we have. Yeah. We just we just 
gotta we gotta get stuff done. Yeah, we gotta get stuff done at home. We gotta get a couple more things taken care of with Jenna. While we're off. I think I think while we're off, instead of waiting until June to meet with the surgeon, I think I'll bump it up. See if we can get them. See if we can do it the week that we're off and see what we can what we can get done there. Yeah. Birds are kamikazes. So yeah, so you know, I know, depressing video, but it's like I said, this the job's not all sunshine. It's just not. It's just what it is. I'm, um, I'm the first one to say that it's not all. And I know we're getting down to that time where it's time to just walk away for a little bit because we're literally getting irritated with everything again. Um, the truck Including each up, other. Yeah, the truck creeping up hills and it's back into that stupid routine. All that stuff, it's just getting to us again. Yeah, yellow this all this. You know, it's pretty. But it is. It's like weeds. So, yeah. So that's the plan. 10 days. And oh. we're off for 13, 12 days, something like that. Then we'll come back to newer, better people. <laughs> we're gonna try. <laughs> That's really about all we got to tell you guys. Yeah. Not a whole lot more. Out the middle of nowhere. Out the middle of nowhere, literally. Um. So yeah, that's that's that. I got a couple hours. I got two hours left, so Donna will be driving before long, and then hopefully she can make it into Flagstaff, but I doubt it. I ain't gonna make it to Flagstaff. Other than that, it's gonna be it. That's it. See you tomorrow.